Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. Hi guys, Todd here. Inside this little box here is, is an old friend. Uh, a lot of you will remember the Armour RDA. Well, this is the the fifth anniversary edition. Inside the box, you're going to find this little container. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's much the same as, you know, the engine. They, they, they had the same idea with that. And beautiful presentation. Pull this cap off here and you can see that you have a little 510 Atti stand there. Just unscrew the Atti off of here. Prise this cap off and you'll find all your spare O-rings. You'll find a standard 510 and a couple of extra post screws. So here we go. Now, once again, this is the Armour 5th Anniversary Edition. Obviously you had the Armour that came out five years ago, which was hugely popular. I had two of them myself over the years, and strangely enough, I never did a review. I think I bought them second hand, and that's why I never reviewed them. Uh, I had an Armour V2 that I got from Darren Direct, and I also had the Armour S, and now I have the, the Armour Engine, which is, in my eyes, one of the prettiest little RDAs on the market today. Now these are going to cost about, I think it's about £115, but uh, there's, I think, Vapes by Anushi, uh, you've got the Vap Store, and I know that Darren's site, uh, I think they've still got some in stock. But this was, there, there was only 500 of these made. It's stainless steel 316. The top cap is actually stainless steel and it's DLC and you have a natural peak drip tip for this one. The posts have been upgraded inside. Uh, pretty much the posts are the same as the Armour S now. Uh, the air hole that we have here is slightly bigger than the OG because that was uh, 7.5 by 2 on the OG one but this one is 10.5 by 2 millimetres. More space on the build posts as well, so you can put your bigger coils in there like Clapton's and so on, and the slots have changed as well. And the little air inlet ports have changed as well to try and get rid of any whistling or turbulence that you may have encountered in the past. But anyway, enough of the blethering. Let's just uh, strip this down. Uh, right, the, the drip tip is... I think it's lovely. I really do. And obviously that's going to come off like so. Uh, if you see any dings, dents, scratches and so on, I have been using this for the past two, three weeks, so I apologise if there's any damage on this. The bore on this drip tip is about 6.2, 6.5 millimetres, and I'm pretty sure that all the old caps and, you know, tips and so on are cross compatible. The finish on this is really nice in the DLC, uh, and branding, as always, on the armors are done really, really well. This is a friends and family edition. Uh, Darren sent some of these out to people that owe him money. I'm just joking. Uh, so this is one of these, but uh, you can then strip it down even further. I can take this off. And the threading is buttery smooth. I'm just going to pull the deck out here just now, put this to one side. And I can also do this. Pop. And you get to see everything. Come on, out you come. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, construction is stunning. Now, obviously, in here, as before, you have your peak reducer. So you can run this as a single coil, or you can hoik this out, and you can run it as a dual coil. Out you come. I think there was an O-ring around this. I I'm sure I did this with my old armors as well. I tend to take the O-rings off of here. Uh, I just find it's less hassle putting them in and out, but it sits in there even without an O-ring, just the job. If I ever do struggle getting these out, I, I tend to get my tweezers and I can just, see, so you can just hook it under there and then just lift up and it comes out really, really easily. Now I'm going to put this away because we're going to go for a dual coil build. I actually really like running this dual coil. There's not many RDAs that I run dual coil anymore, but this is one of them. Uh, when I'm running with a single coil, I will say that be very careful when you're squonking because, you know, this is a, a tiny, when you half that down, it's a tiny, tiny little chamber. Quite intense flavour, but uh, we're going to go dual coil. So we'll undo the grub screws here, just back them off. Give you a bit of a closer look at what's going on here. You can see the deck. I'm sure the deck's deeper than the V1. Uh, I don't remember it being as deep as that, but I could be wrong. 
Personally for me, when I'm doing a dual coil, I like to use simple round wire builds. These are just two and a half millimeters in diameter. And you can see that I've still got a fair bit of space in there. I mean, I'll take that coil out a little bit further, but just putting it in there at the start, you can see the amount of space that there is. But this will come out at 0 0.2 ohm in a dual coil build. And yeah, I, I don't like personally, uh, I don't like a lot of heat myself. So this is what works for me. I know you dual coilers all have your own little hints and tricks and tips and so on. But I usually just, you know, loosely place my coils in there and, and bend the legs around the posts. And then I don't tighten it down fully. I just tighten it down a little bit just so that I've still got room for moving about and putting it into position. Just moving it about a little bit more and then I'll uh, tighten that right down. Cut my legs off. Be sure that you don't cut any of the actual coil legs. That's where I've got mine there. Uh, normally I take them out a tiny little bit further, uh, but I tend to run it that high. Uh, I know some people like to run it lower, but uh, you know, just get your top cap, put it down on the base and, and look at where the air is going to be hitting your coil and just adjust and see what works for you. Just giving this a little pulse. There we go, nice and red on both sides. Just in case you didn't know, see the hole underneath the coil there? That's where your juice comes out. Got my cotton cut, and then I'm going to take my little pick here and just uh, take out the clumps. A little tidy up at the ends. I'm sure these wells are deeper. If Darren watches this, Darren, remind me, are the wells deeper on this? I, don't, I just don't remember them being as deep on the, the original. And as always, just make sure that you part the cotton away because, you know, you're going to want the air going underneath the coil and up the top. Pop, I've just popped this onto some random squonker that I found lying about. Not sure who makes it. Bit of a dodgy geezer, I think. Uh, and we'll give this a little squonk. Once again, I just want to add that when you're squonking on one coil and the reducer in, uh, just remember that there's not a lot of room in there. So I'm just putting my top cap back together. So remember, this is stainless steel 316. Remember, these are your slits, see at the bottom there? That's where your air is going to come through. That just sits back in there, it clicks into place. Screw this piece back on. Honestly, the thread, the threading is really, really good. Uh, very impressed with that. And then grab my drip tip and just pop her back on. So I've popped my top cap back on and it's now sitting, you know, with the air holes facing right onto the coil. I can, if I want, I can spin not sure if you'll see that. Can you see how the, just moving the drip tip there, it's actually moving inside here and it's adjusting the airflow. It's not the easiest to see. It's actually easier than the original, the OG, I have to say that. And obviously if you're adjusting the airflow and you close it down, you're then going to have to adjust the position of your top cap as well so that it's hitting straight on the center of the coil. She does look good on this. I mean, it's a cracking combo. It should be a cracking combo. But anyway, back up top, we'll go for a vape. So there you go for the Armour 5th Anniversary Edition. Is it 5 Annie Edition? I think he's calling it. Uh, now, I I'm not here to blow smoke up your ass and tell you that this is the best thing ever. This is an Armour V1 that they've taken. You've got the DLC, you've got the peak, you've got the increased airflow, the posts have been updated sure the deck's deeper but it is at its core it is the v1 armor this is just a celebration of something that's been out for five years which is a very long time in vape land I, it, this had a huge following in fact it still does there's a lot of people that still use the armor day in day out um and yeah i still have the same some of the same grumbles that I did have with the original armour and my main one was always, as time has gone by, um, I like top caps that lock into place and things like that, which this doesn't have, um, but it, it, I don't have any major grumbles outside what I did five years ago. It, it's still, and once again, this is a 0 0.2 ohm build dual coil. 2.5 inner diameter coils um, and that's a freshly charged battery on a mechanical mod obviously the armor squonk and, and and it's superb it really is i mean that's actually all the air that you're going to need you can close it down however and to do that 
I have to put my glasses on because I need to be able to see the slot, which isn't the easiest thing to see, to be fair. Then I have to lift my top cap off, turn it and put it back into place so that the air is hitting it straight on. And that's still a lot of air. I've got it down into like a restricted direct lung now, which is it's just still a little bit more than I would normally like, but for a dual coil setup, it's as tight as I would dare take it. You'll never do mouth to lung with this. Um, it, it's restricted direct lung, direct lung. Flavour is, uh, uh, personally, the flavour with the dual coil, it just, it sings. It always has, uh, and, and that has not changed. Obviously, you're able to use your more complex coils than maybe we did five years ago. You're able to fit them in there. I just necessarily, I wouldn't go massive rowdy coils. It's it's still a 22 mil RDA at the end of the day, and it's not necessarily what it's designed for. But you will get a big coil in there. Once again, there's only going to be 500 made. This is a, a, a you know, this is a tribute piece to the armour from five years ago. It's picked up some of the revisions that happened in the other models over those five years and they've lumped it into this. So if you are a collector or just even want to try a good RDA because it's still a good RDA, then you can buy these from shops. I listed them at the big, in the close-ups and uh, it is available, but not for a very long time. Don't forget that all the old gear, the caps and so on, I'm pretty sure are cross compatible. And I just want to say thank you to Darren for sending this on. He didn't ask me to review it or that. It, this was a gift, but it would have been rude if I hadn't. Thank you to you guys as always for watching and until next time, bye for now.